Talk about that second half performance, being able to take what it was a six point deficit and turn it into shutting them out in the second half. Yeah, very proud of our defense uh, from the second, the, you know, first half, they kind of uh, got after us. I mean, statistically, they have 300 something yards and they had a great game plan and getting the ball out quick. And the quarterback's a good player, very impressed with them. But we made some adjustments, our defensive staff did, very proud of that. And the kids uh, adjusted to that and then. You know, you don't, I guess we give a point in the second half, didn't we? right? So it was awesome. You know, we, we, we adjusted some things on the offense and said, okay, let's slow it down a little bit, try to keep the defense off the field. Uh, you know, there was a couple young mistakes by John. I mean, there was uh, a couple that he'll he'll fix for the next week, okay? But all in all, I thought he did a good job. I really did. I thought uh, it, was, it was good to get the win on his belt, but also good to see there's some, some plays that he made. Uh, I think three or four that he made because we were six of 13 on third downs, and that probably was a key stat to the game. Talk about how big the two special special teams plays were. Oh, on the my goodness. Third oh, game. I know. Let's see which two got on the phone turn. And the both of them, yeah. One was for a touchdown. I think one set up the other. Oh, yeah. The first no, one. I mean, Terry's a good player. Anytime we get the ball in Terry's hands, uh, we have a chance. He may not be the fastest guy, but, you know, he's just so, you know, he's got so much tenacity about him. He just competes, and, and he's, 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 he's um, strong and durable, and you know, made a bad decision there on the penalty. On the, he should have fair caught that one, but you know, Terry gives us some uh, belief whenever we get a stop on defense that he, he can get us a first down when the ball's punted to him. So, I'm very proud of that. Pick six gave you some breathing room. Oh, I did it ever, right? Because you knew eventually we were kind of bent, don't break that second half, and and you eventually they're going to find one of those seams. I mean, you throw it enough eventually, you know, but it gets hard in that red zone to score. And uh, as you see, you know, what they have almost 500 yards, but you know, only you know, only got the three touchdowns, and so it's hard to get in that end zone. You can't run the ball, and so uh, you know that was uh, very fun to see. But great team win. You know, y'all heard me talking about in the camp about you know the senior leadership and you know and, and guys just hanging together and playing as a team. That's what I saw out there today. That's what I saw. You've talked about how you feel like Peyton Logan could be an explosive back in this league. 150 yards, two touchdowns. He showed that explosive plays with two huge runs. Yeah. I just kind of talked about his durability. Yeah, Peyton Logan's a good player. I mean, you could start seeing it in the spring. The games were slowed down for him. All right, he, you know, early in his career, he might get off balance and slip down because, you know, is he seeing the holes and being patient and stuff? His feet are moving too fast and. You know, he would, he would have a good run, but the next two runs might not. He might have missed the cut. And so now you started to see him this spring, and he started being very dependable. And, and his, uh, you know, on the touchdown, what you see is block, all right? They have, you know, they're blitzing us, bringing edge pressure. And he comes across and flips the guy on his head, and John's able to step up and make the touchdown throw. You know, that was probably the, the most maturity that I was impressed with for Peyton to be able to, to, to execute his job even though he didn't have the ball in his hand. And that was a great team play. We, we talked a little bit about um, Boggess earlier, and then we've talked in the, in the pregame stuff back on Monday about how there was a chance that Mike all three play, but he played the whole game. Talk about what you saw that, was, that, yeah. that led you to that decision. Like I said, uh, you know, he made some mistakes. He did the pick. You know, he knows that. That's that in high school he gets that ball in there and he couldn't do it today rolling to his left. But the two touchdowns that he had, you know, were, were great throws. He had one that he pulled on the counter and they brought the edge pressure that really um, you know, he really should just take a tackle for loss there. He slipped out and came out of there, he stepped up on one uh, pass and uh, extended the play for us. So you know, like I said, there's four or five plays that he'll learn from, but uh, I thought he, he managed the game and, uh, you know, had the one turnover. But besides that, you know, I think all these guys had confidence in him that if there was a throw that he had to make, that we felt like he could make it. You talked about also that this was a quality team coming in. Yeah, it's a good team. Talked about being one and over or something like that. Oh, man, you know, that, that team went three the last four. They're in a, they're in a league that's ranked higher than us in power ranking in the country. And that one game, they can move the football. You know, and if they, if you don't pick up those blitzes correctly, you'll you'll go backwards against them, and you'll be behind the chains all night. We just happened to crease them a couple of times, and uh, kind of live by the blitz, die by the blitz, and uh, you know, once our defense started getting the stops, and then that big one that Peyton hit, that kind of broke it back. You talk about being positive in the turnover battle; it's going to lead to victories. Wanya did that for you alone. Talk about his big play in the secondary. 
Well, I mean, it was a great play. It was a great, uh, was a great play. Kind of baited the quarterback. He undercut it. Uh, very proud of that. Not so sure he makes that one last year, uh, but he made that one. Okay, and I can't wait to hear what he says about because the the first touchdown is on him. All right, and here's what's so cool about it is is that he might have hung his head last year. He didn't this year. He bounces back and plays the next play, and our defense keeps playing. And then he comes and gets a big flip pick and you know seals the game. And that's you know those are things when you play redshirt freshman, they have to go through that, okay? But now that the best thing about them is now they're redshirt sophomores and and they know how to handle the adversity. You're, you're gonna get beat. You're gonna make a bad play, all right? But he was able to keep his focus and his maturity kicked in and he made the, the made the big play. I'm very proud of him.